These are similar traditional utilities, but they do own and operate some solar systems. Uh, we're not really seeing any yield codes that are pure plays right now. Most of these businesses ha- have significant investments in, in other types of renewable energy, whether that's yeah. wind, whether that's hydroelectric, things like that. You know, what are you seeing with the yield codes, and, and, and partic- in particular, are there any companies that stand out as particularly attractive to you? Yeah, I think if you, if you go back a couple years ago, there there were there were a couple of like pure plays. Uh, SunPower and First Solar had you know eight point three. Uh, which was their their combined yield co. I think the challenge is that um, if if you're a power producer, you really want to be flexible, right? You really want to be able to to invest where you're going to get the best cash, you know, cash on cash return you can capture. And solar isn't always that. So these businesses were really too limited if they were strictly solar focused. So the the ones that are are there's been a lot of consolidation right so you talk about companies that that do a lot of things uh, next year energy partners is really interesting uh, because it's a, a big electric owner um, owns a little bit of wind and also owns a lot of natural gas distribution um, it's it's tied to next year energy the big utility that owns Florida uh, power and light um, so. So it's really interesting, um, and and I think it's 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 worth following closely because it's going to be adding a lot more renewables over time, especially a lot of solar. Um, Brookfield Renewable, the m- majority of its of its uh, cash flows come from hydroelectric, uh, but it uh, so the, the whole Brookfield asset management family of companies, uh, Brookfield Renewable owns around two thirds of Terraform Power. Um, which is like a third solar, two thirds wind, uh, and it's a really interesting growth story um, that that Brookfield Renewable is using as a way to drive its growth in solar and 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 in wind. So I really like Brookfield Renewable a lot. It's like down like twenty five percent from its high close to the beginning of the year. Its yield is almost eight percent, which I think is an absolute steal. Um, and I also like um, Pattern Energy, which is T- today, if you measure their their all of their cash flows come from wind, uh, it is starting to uh, look closely at solar, and it will be making solar investments in the coming years. Um, I think this is that's more of the risk reward kind of play right now because it's 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 paying out a ton of cash flows to support its dividend, and its cash flows are starting to grow, so it's closing that gap. But there is a little more a little more risk right there. But basically, the way they make money is they invest in or they build these these big renewable projects. They find a utility. Uh, you, they know who's going to be buying their power usually before they even build these 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 projects out. Uh, but then they sell, you know, on ten year, twenty year contracts, uh, a power purchase agreement to sell that the power capacity. So they can pretty much project what their cash flows are going to be for the next decade based on what they already own. Uh, they take out debt generally at a relatively low cost over long fixed terms to finance those projects. And then the the spread of the cash flows that they generate versus what their debt costs and their operating costs are, they generally just pay the rest out in in dividends, uh, retaining a small amount to reinvest in growing the business. So if you're looking for really good dividends and for dividend growth opportunities, that's what I really like about the yield cos, because that big six thousand percent growth in in um, in solar that you talked about. These are these are going to be a massive owner of a lot of that growth. So these companies are going to see their cash flows growing on a per share basis. They should grow pretty substantially over over the next you know twenty or thirty years. So these are really good dividend growth investments. Maybe my favorite part of solar to to invest in is uh, is the yield cows. Yeah, I mean, if, if our listeners are maybe a little squeamish about about the, these shifts in demand and volatility, this is a good way to get exposure to solar and renewables in general without maybe being quite as exposed to the roller coaster ride that you might see from some of these other businesses. 